Hey guys, welcome to Quinian's Budgetcraft. Fair warning, this is a little less of a tutorial and more a laugh at Quinn while he tries to figure out how to build a ship. Part of my problem is that I went into this assuming that it was a bark or a snow or something, but the more I built it, the more I realized it's closer to a frigate or some kind of mini galleon. Just look up images of real pirate ship and you'll see what I mean. I'll do this thing in a series because, wow. First thing though, the decks. Just what you need to play the module. If you want to go full crazy with it, well, stick around and we'll do this thing up. The deck, the full hull, the sails, the rigging, the deck scatter, the whole thing. So we're going to cut the top deck one inch larger all around so that when they sit on top of each other, there will be a taper. The sizes are 24 by 8 inches for the lower deck and 26 by 10 inches for the upper deck. Okay, well, you know the drill. Cut them out. Glue some ready board on top of there with some Super 77, trim off the excess, and cut a grid into it. To get that curve in it, use the grid on the paper to transfer it over to the lower deck because the lower deck is the correct size. Then when we do the top deck, we'll compensate for the gap. Once the shape you want is on there, just go ahead and cut it out with the X-Acto. If it won't go all the way through, that's fine. Cut deep enough and it'll just snap off. Cut pretty close to the line, but not right on it. We'll true that up later with some sandpaper. Get it all cut out as close as you want and then take some sandpaper to the edge to make it curve a little neater. So for the top deck, take one of these little dollar store Jenga block things and use it as a spacer to trace the line on for the upper deck. You can either try gluing the block to the pin or just put the block against the edge and run the pin along it allowing the block to rotate as you go, kind of like this. Trying to do it in a way that you can see what's happening is really awkward. Move the block a couple inches and repeat until you've got it all outlined. Then just cut that out and sand it down same as you did the first one. Starting with the bottom deck, you're going to need some walls. You need 10 that are 3 inches long and 3 that are 2 inches long. Don't worry about the post or the doors right now, we'll trim the walls accordingly once they're on. As to the post, I'm using a 5 16 inch dowel cut down to 2 inches. You need 14 of those. Just use the lines on your mat and cut them down with a small saw. Run a wire brush over the foam to make the wood grain and don't forget the decks. When you do the grain on the deck, just figure out which direction it should run and keep doing it that direction. I figured side to side would make the most sense. You could go through and cut in boards and all that, but it would take forever and I think it would also look really busy with the grid on here. If you rip out a little of the ready board on the edge there, don't worry, it'll be fine. Just glue it back down. Plus, we're going to coat this thing in Mod Podge, so in the end, it'll be glued on really well. Figure out where the walls go and glue them directly to the grid line so that the glue has somewhere to go and it'll have a firmer bond by having something to actually grip instead of flat surface to flat surface. For the wall segment that has a door in it, just hold it up to the bottom of your current walls, make a mark, and trim it to fit. Use the bottom of the wall for this measurement so it stays square. Once it's trimmed, go ahead and glue it into place and don't forget about putting wood grain on the edges of the walls. To put the door in, just stand your ruler up with the corner on the grid line and use the ruler as a guide to cut against. For the door height, I used roughly a quarter inch from the top. You might want to hold on to those cutouts to use as doors later. I still haven't decided how I'm going to do the doors, or if I even will. What do you guys think? Should I leave it open? Do a wood door? Iron bars? Let me know. Anyway, go ahead and do that for all four of the rooms and the staircase. And don't worry about the outside wall. That'll come in when we do the whole portion. For those posts, just push it into the foam to make a mark. Cut out where the mark is and put some hot glue on the ends of the walls and the floor. Set the bottom of the post in first and then lead it into place. For the freestanding ones, go ahead and make your mark, cut out where the mark is, and then pluck out the ready board with a pair of tweezers. A little hot glue in the hole and drop the post in. They're going to be a little bit short, but it's fine. They're not actually supporting anything for real, and you're not going to notice it. Okay, so the top deck. It's about to get complicated, mostly because I didn't read the drawing right. Go ahead and put on all the walls you see on the drawing, but with one exception. The door to the captain's cabin there, just put the wall all the way across instead of the door with the two weird things. I'll explain that later. 
To get those angled bits, just trim or sand the foam corner off at an angle so you can get them to sit flat against each other and have those two at an angle. Now if you only want what the map is showing and just need some decks to play on, you can go ahead and stop here. But if you want to get a little crazy, keep watching. Okay, now take a 2 inch strip of ready board and bend it around, gluing it to the top of the deck so it ends even with the edges of the wall front and back. Flip it over and put that front portion on a piece of ready board and trace it out. Cut that out and glue it on so that the flat edge stops right on the top of the wall with the weird angle. And then trim off the excess. In order to make this not look like a barge, we need to give it some curves. Starting where the new roof deck thing ends, draw a curve of some kind from the top edge going about halfway down the wall. Follow that line with your X-Acto knife and snap it off. And then you can use that cutoff as a guide for your other wall. Take a little sandpaper and refine the curve so it flows from the top all the way off the edge. Just round it all over, basically. So here's where I realized the gaps beside the door didn't make any sense. Eh, whatever, just rip it off and put on a new wall. Measure and cut out a door just like you did on the lower deck, but on this one you can make it wider so it can be a fancy double door. I did want the things to keep the stairs separate from the door though, so cut a 3 inch long piece of wire brushed ready board and split it corner to corner. Take those two pieces and glue them down either side of the door, long side down. Go ahead and cut through the ready board where the stairs are going down and pluck the ready board out. You can cut all the way through and try to make the stairs match up, but that's very hard to do, so we're going to fake the stairs on the top deck and do real stairs below deck. For the cargo hole, do cut all the way through. A couple of reasons. One, it looks cool to be able to see the inside of the ship when it's stacked up. And two, you can kick PCs down the hole. Or I guess the PCs can kick your monsters down the hole too. I mean, literally, you can knock them through the hole and where they land is where they've landed when you go below decks. So putting the roof over the front and now the one over the captain's cabin is where I may be messed up. You should probably mod podge and paint the inner areas before you put the roof on. No, well, moving on. Glue the roof over the captain's cabin, same as you did the front part, and then trim off the excess. Glue another wall around the front portion, this time stopping at the edge of the second level of decking. And glue a 1 inch tall wall about midway up. This is the thing that the front jib mast sits in. Now you need to cut a piece that will sit at an angle from the low wall to the top of the new wall. It took a lot of trial and error and I still didn't get it perfect, but that's okay, we can cover up the crimes later with some detailing. So get that piece cut out and glue it in. I put the lower portion behind the one inch wall so I could make them blend together. Once that's in, cut off the excess following your new angle thing and keep the cut going down to the bottom of the new wall so it's all one continuous curve. Use the sandpaper to clean it up and blend everything together. For the hole that the mast goes into, cut a little notch halfway through the angled piece up to the very tip of the ship and then a little notch out of the front. Just do small cuts at a time until you get the angle how you want it. Now we got to build up the back end a little bit. So pick a spot about a third of the way back from the edge of the deck and draw a line across the same length as the open area below. Go from that point in a curve to the outside edge, ending on the same line as the opening. Man, I'm bad at words. It's a good thing you can see what I'm talking about. Glue on yet another 2 inch wall segment following your lines as best you can. Get progress approval from the boss. And trim the curved wall ends to make room for the next wall part. Then glue on another wall strip around the back. Past your curved wall. Clear to the corners of the deck. Trim off any excess and drop a roof on it. Glue another wall segment going to the corners again. Find a good spot to get the curve going. I used the skewer stick to kind of help with that. About where that flat portion is seemed good. Draw a line where you want to cut and trim it off and sand it down. Realize that 2 inches here is way too tall for a railing type wall and trim it down to 1 inches. While the foreman supervises. 
The side needs a little one inch railing too, so I used some of the strips for making the cannons. Kitty approves. Just glue it down with a little hot glue. Then go through and cut away any hot glue squeeze out. Make sure everything is sanded. All the edges and surfaces have wire brush wood grain. There's absolutely nothing else that needs to be changed, touched up, or anything. And then coat the whole thing inside and out with black paint and Mod Podge. Quick note here, this will be quite a dark colored ship. It's from the module Escape from the Ghost Pirates, so I'm guessing it's not exactly in good repair, sanded decks and all that. If you were building a different ship type, I would mix the Mod Podge with either Burnt Umber or Nutmeg. When you go to coat this down, it does help if you do the inside cramped areas first, just so you don't make a huge mess out of your hands later. Once that Mod Podge is all dry, you can go full black pearl here and leave it black and maybe do some highlights or something. I'm going to go through and cover everything in burnt umber. You're going to use a lot of paint on this, so grab the larger bottle. If you find spots where it's still white in the grid, paint over it like normal. Dip the tip of your brush in a little water and then repaint that section. The watered down paint will get into the crack. Once you're all done, you can see that this does dry a lot darker than when you put it on. Unless you caked it on, but don't do that because you'll lose detail. You can give it a second coat if you want, or just move on to dry brushing. Don't worry about it being too dark right now because we're going to dry brush in a few colors, which might make it a little brighter than you want. The dry brushing is passes of yellow, tan, and off-white, using a little bit less each time. So now we've gone way past what you need to play, but it's cool and it adds a height element. Clearly we're missing curves on the front, there's no protruding captain's cabin, that kind of stuff. That will be built on as part of the hole slash siding section. The stairs, the ship's wheel, the railings, cargo nets, all that good stuff will do as final touches. We'll continue this next week with the hole, but until then, thank you for watching everybody. Don't forget to like, share, all that stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one.